Hi there, my name's Elizabeth and I like to sew smart. Today I'm going to show you a clever little trick about stipple quilting. Now a lot of people don't like stipple quilting because it's a little bit tedious and when they're quilting on their fabric they lose track of where their needle is and where they've been and where they need to go. So I'm going to show you a handy little hint to make sure that you get your stipple quilting really well done. So here I've got a sample piece like you would have for your quilt ready to go. There's backing fabric, there's wadding and your top fabric. And I haven't used any pins today, but I have used a little temporary adhesive, which is a 505. It's very light, it's acid free and really good value. It keeps your fabrics all stuck together without being glue, sort of a without a glue texture. And also you'll need a friction colour pen, which is an iron off marking pen for fabric. And it is the only one that I know of that actually really irons off well with leaving no stain or any, any shadow or anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the pattern on here like you would if you were using a piece of paper. So I'm going to take my pen and I'm just going to squiggle around here. Just a little bit. I'll just do that far for you. And we're going to sew. You would go all the way across, of course. I'm going to sew around those lines and you'll see exactly how that turns out. So I've got my fabric under the machine now and I'm just going to follow the line all the way around. I have drawn a bit extra for you to show you. So I just follow the line. doesn't matter if you go off the line a little bit because you'll still have the good shape and I'm going to go all the way right down to the end. So I've stitched all the way to the end and I must say I, my thread did break there so I've had to start again there but I'm now going to iron it off. And then you can see you have a stipple stitch, front and back, and you have a nice little stipple, no mark, but you can keep all of it in place and you can see exactly where you've been and where you need to go.